attention please. Uh, Cork County Council Library and Arts Service, we're thrilled to host this event. The Readers and Writers Festival is back. We've been away for a few years and um, this is quite a coup for us. I'd like to welcome TD Dave Stanton, Deputy Mayor Anthony Hyde and Joanna. Thank you so much for coming and representing the Chamber for uh, this great event. The theme around Rory Gallagher, you might well ask the question, why Rory Gallagher? Well, there is a Cove connection. We have a spe very special event this, this year. On the 22nd of April, we will be unveiling a plaque, which is kindly donated by um, Pat Manny, his cousin, uh, down where the dry cleaners is, because that's where he used to stay. And that's on the 22nd, as I said. And um, yeah, that's another coup. Donald, his brother, will be over to unveil it. And we also have, uh, from the Milton Foundation, we have Simon Avery from uh, the UK coming over to uh, give a lecture on Paradise Lost in this very building on the Saturday before the, um, the plaque unveiling. So there are just two events that we have. We've got theatre, we've got poetry competition, we've got a film of the Irish tour, 1974, Rory Gallagher gigs all over Ireland. That's in the Commodore Hotel. And we also have local authors. I'm really honoured uh, to represent the family here for the efforts that have been made to showcase and remember Rory here in Cove. It's really important uh, for us as a family um, to come and share in these celebrations of Rory's life. Now Rory, the, as much as his great legacy in music that he has, it's actually the people that remember him that all remember us, our friends, our family, that is the most important. And it really, um, it really makes our work um, even more worthwhile than it, than it is um, by trying to come up with new engagements, new ways um, of engaging uh, people with the Rory's music, particularly the younger generations. So we are truly grateful for the people that were around at the time of Rory, to come at these moments here and go, hey, we want you to hear about this great guy. Come and see the photos, come and see the tribute bands. And really appreciate uh, the Cove Literary Festival uh, bringing Rory here and on that weekend in and around the 20th to the 22nd, you'll get some fantastic music and you'll also get to see the fantastic film, Irish Tour 74. If you haven't seen it, please do, it really is. Uh, a great document of the 1970s and what it's like to be a band on the road. The sun is shining, which is great. And if I may just say, um, from the library perspective, I've been coming in here a lot with the art exhibitions and it's such an amazing venue to have, especially for an event like this, which is so important from a cultural perspective. And oh, lovely to see you, you here today because we're, I suppose, the piece of history that's been kept alive, right? And there's a new, I suppose, from a writing and reading perspective, I wrote down a few things because I think that it's really important part of our life, and especially in the fast-paced life that we live today. I think reading is a platform that we can use to detox from social media, from life. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very relaxing. Writing is a way to express ourselves, and it's a way of learning, and especially as a way of learning for the young and for, for our age group and for the old, there's so many ways we can express ourselves, but I think writing comes down to it. An exhibition like this here today is fantastic, because this is why we put so much money into this building to have exhibitions like this and to provide a space for arts, music, culture, which I think are food for the soul. I think that's what, the, what it is, that's what music is. I was doing the Leaving Supper when Rory was doing his tour. I know I don't look that old, but anyway, I was. And I remember at the time, you know, he, he was a superstar, an absolute superstar. And it's hugely important that we remember his work, his music, what he contributed. And it's great to see Owen that you're here today as well. And thanks for being here. Because I'm looking at the photographs, you can see how happy he was, how happy he made people. And you know what, even though he's not with us anymore, he'll still do that. And I think that's hugely important, that we remember and we, we keep his memory alive. On behalf of Cork County Council, look, it's great to, to be able to be here representing the sponsorship of this event and all, over the next couple of weeks. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have enough to go around. When I look at the, the man that's here behind me, I was telling John earlier on in bed that uh, one of the major blazing rows I had with my mother was in 1977, at the tender age of 14. And I know you know you all think I've been way younger then, but I wasn't. I was only 14, and she wouldn't leave me go to the Mountain Dew Festival in McCroom. Probably rightly so in hindsight, but I didn't see that at the time. 
Uh, so I didn't see the, get to see this man actually playing live. And, uh, you know, what David said about, you know, how happy he was. His music still talks to people, obviously. Um, I see young people here and definitely when it goes down, you could listen to that guitar playing and it just transposes you to somewhere else. Uh, it was truly unique. Uh, before we wrap up, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say a huge thank you to Ramon and Ben Cullery for doing the hang in quick, quick fashion this morning and for sourcing those photographs from um, Overt de Rose. Um,